So this is a bit of a follow-up video to last uh, week's video about Dr. Genius and Dr. Halo. Um, yeah, I've got them both in DOSBox now. And I've also had a look at Cascat uh, the other week. And here's the uh, manual. So this is going to be just a short impromptu video uh, where I just show you how to run them in DOSBox basically with the settings and I have a go at trying Cascat although Cascat seems to be really iffy and not really working well but we're just going to find out so let's get to it so first in uh, DOSBox I have uh, Defend uh, Reloaded here which is the uh, actual DOSBox front end that I use I have uh, added them but First I copied the um, Dr. Halo and Dr. Genius and Cascat to the virtual hard drive. So here are the actual files. And here's uh, Dr. Genius. And I've also got the uh, picture files here that I created last week. So that's that. Now let's take a look at the settings. Uh, for Cascat, if I look at the settings, um, let's check the CPU. Um, yeah, you could really just use the 386, uh, that should be fine. And in terms of memory, well, 4 megabytes would probably do it. Uh, graphics, well, yeah, I guess we could just leave that to, yeah, let's put it to Paradise, because that's what I had back in the day. My 486 had a Paradise. And the same kind of settings apply to Dr. Genius and Dr. Halo. So if I start uh, Dr. Genius here... Oh, sadly it's running full screen. Uh, don't know if this is going to work well with the capture process. So let's try that. Here's uh, Dr. Genius. Now let's load up a file. File exists? No. I want to load it. So that was the file that I created last week. Uh, or what about another file? Oh, that one doesn't exist. So probably have those other files with uh, Dr. Halo. But there you go. That's basically it. So let's uh, exit this. That's, uh, well, Dr. Genius. And of course it will work just fine in window mode, as you can see. Um, yeah, I haven't really discovered much else. Uh, I still don't really know how to use that uh, brush thing. Let's uh, maximize this window again. So let's see if I can actually get my grips with this brush thing. I want to use the eyes. Maybe there's a context menu. No, for some reason it just doesn't want to work. What is this? Oh, that just draws a pattern. Hmm, really weird what this is. Why would you want this feature? This seems like a kind of useless feature to me. Oh, it's really just something to do to draw blocks. Now what is this? Symbols. Oh, I don't want that. So I still can't figure out how to draw those uh, brush things. So let's uh, exit out of this. Control X. And now we should be back here on our desktop. But um, yeah, Cascat. Cascat is kind of weird. Because you need to uh, log in apparently. Uh, first you are presented with this screen that has all these options and things. And apparently when you enter a number, uh, you don't have to press the enter key. For instance, if I choose log on and I type my name, Peter. And now it uh, wants me to do stuff, but apparently uh, I do not have to uh, do enter. So I want to create, enter new drawing name, uh, test one I suppose. 
Okay, and maybe now enter. You see, Cascal is absolutely weird. And if I look at this manual, um, yeah, it's just not really that helpful. It tells you a lot of stuff, but not really how you use this. So let's uh, exit out of this. So yeah, this this Cascal manual. Let's have a look. Uh, what should we do? Um, well, it has a tutorial section apparently, a configuration menu. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, but the first chapter it says logging on. Um, change to the left one directory at the DOS system prompt. Type the word left one on your keyboard and press enter. Uh, you may use upper or lowercase letters, and then in the log on menu, the cursor will be blinking next to the log on prompt. The Cascat One program is telling you that it's ready to accept information which can be entered from the keyboard. Type your name or initials at the log on prompt and press enter. This is called logging on. All the drawings you create during this session will have your name automatically recorded into the computer with the rest of the drawings information. Once you've logged on, the opening menu will appear. Note, if you haven't configured your tablet, the tablet setup prompts will be displayed, blah blah blah. And then quit, escape, exits the logon menu and returns to DOS. 16. Log off, exits the drawing management menu. The opening menu. Uh, every time you begin or end a drawing session you will see the opening menu, blah blah blah. The blinking cursor at the top of the open menu screen lets you Know that Cascat is ready for you to select an option by typing a two digit number on your keyboard. Don't press the enter key after typing the number. You only need to press the corresponding digits. The option will be highlighted. Active drawings. Drawings that have already been created are listed under the heading active drawings. To select an active drawing to be edited, press the corresponding two digit number, blah blah blah. Create a drawing, yeah. So apparently we should never press enter for some reason. Well, I guess we should uh, try again. As you can see, Cascat is kind of crashed. Maybe if I type 16. No, it doesn't work. It, it really does not seem to work at all. So I guess we just have to restart DOSBox then. Because Cascat somehow crashes. Uh, don't know what's going on here, but it's just a weird program. No active drawings? Well, I want to create one. 11. Enter a new drawing name. It absolutely doesn't tell you what to do. It just craps out. So Cascat absolutely sucks. Um, yeah, it's definitely not AutoCAD because I cannot really start using it at all. At least in AutoCAD, um, you can just start drawing right away. So there's probably something I'm doing wrong here. But it doesn't really explain what I should do. It's just a strange program. What, what is this? Strange hardware configuration. Well, I don't think I have to change anything here. Because everything seems to be fine. Well, let's just try again. All those options like um, drive C and path, they all seem fine to me. And what if I type 16? It locks off. Select from menu. Edit drawing, create drawing, delete drawing. Let's type 10. Enter drawing name for edit. Just one. But what do I need to do then? Maybe press escape? I don't know. It absolutely doesn't tell you. It only tells you that you should not press the enter key apparently. Naming a drawing. The prompt at the top of the screen below the flashing cursor is now asking you to enter a new drawing name. Select the name with a maximum of 8 number, letters and numbers, type the name from the keyboard and press enter. Then I really don't know why this doesn't work. 
maybe I need to f just follow all the options. It's absolutely weird. I'd say let's try that again. There must be something I'm doing wrong. Well, maybe 50. Uh, 51. Well, let's call it test. And then it just craps out. Once I press enter, it just craps out. Well, I guess I just can't use Cascot at all. I don't know why it isn't working. Anyway, Dr. Halo and Dr. Genius work just fine with DOSBox. Uh, for some reason, Cascot is a weird program. If you don't have the manual, you would never figure it out. But even if you have this manual, it still doesn't help you much. Um, it's just a weird program. What were they thinking? Were there actually any people that used it? I've tried to Google for it and I could find absolutely no information about it. So it is a weird and mysterious program. I might get back to it in the future if I can figure out how it actually works. But yeah, that was it. Just a quick short little video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.